yeah, we are working on a solution, value solution for value truck uh, here in India as well as Asia. Um, as you understand, the need of Asia is a little different from uh, the need uh, of Europe and US. We need more cost-effective solution and features which are fine-tuned for Asia requirements. So we are working on that, uh, and uh, that's mainly where we are concentrating right now. Okay. Uh, like we, we also hear there are a lot of uh, good international experiences uh, or case studies which are in place, particularly with reference to remote uh, like diagnostic or preventive maintenance. Hmm. Like can you share some of your uh, thoughts uh, on, on these? Sure, yeah. Uh, as Volvo, we have uh, so far concentrated quite a bit on vehicle-centric services, uh, which is mainly cost-saving services and revenue-making services from OEM and dealer perspective. Uh, because we as an OEM, that's where we have a lot of know-how and that's what we can control. Uh, so uh, from Europe and US, we have seen that uh, we have a very good business case when it comes to remote diagnostics, when you know already what needs to be fixed, because you can make uh, spare parts available in time, you can look at uh, dynamic uh, service planning, so you already have real-time data on you know, how much your truck is run, what kind of uh, faults are there. So uh, we have done uh, a very good pilot, we had very good results uh, based on the pilot that we did on reading fault codes and analyzing beforehand what what needs to be fixed in the workshop. So just the time that you can save uh, in in uptime uh, and you know the up workshop time and uh, repair first repair itself the right repair and the first repair and the process change because uh, what is really important like we saw uh, in many of the talks there what is more important than technology is bringing in the right process in our dealership uh, to use the solution effectively and that's what we have concentrated on and uh, we have got very good results elsewhere and we would like to bring that uh, here in Asia as well. Okay. One question like uh, we have now OBD as a mandatory thing, mm -hmm. OBD2 since April this year. Mm -hmm. uh, like definitely we hope that this will change the way vehicle is being serviced mm -hmm. or the maintenance of vehicle takes place over here in India. Mm -hmm. Uh, what, according to you, would be, should be, uh, uh, the like uh, way forward for in terms of uh, the service center changing or the OEMs, hmm. they uh, introducing the uh, this uh, new ways of maintenance through their uh, retail outlet or the service center. Hmm. So how do you see the things changing, or how much time do you think this whole thing will take to actually percolate down to a level where? we see preventive maintenance or remote diagnostic actually in effect taking place here in India? Uh, time, <laughs> the, that's the main criteria because we've already heard, uh, you know, the, the drivers are uneducated and so are the mechanics. When we went out and uh, spoke to all our uh, dealers, uh, the availability of well-educated mechanics who have a lot of know-how on how to use the IT system or use the tools is not so high right now in India. So just improving the maturity of our workshops to be able to use this or understand what they are reading in the first place uh, it will be a challenge as well. So that we need to put in a lot of effort to train uh, our, you know, and improve the whole right. ecosystem to understand what we are looking at. It's new for us. And also the noise. Uh, we don't know. I mean, we put in OBD2. Do we understand how much noise there will be in the fault codes that right. we are reading? Will they be accurate? And how should we deal uh, with all these things? So I think uh, to be able to get control of all this, train we'll them and bring in the right process uh, would be a challenge, but it will be a good challenge. One thing like people say, India is a very cost sensitive market. We are very price sensitive people. Mm -hmm. But Volvo has uh, actually defied the entire uh, assumptions which we had. Mm -hmm. Volvo, like uh, we know, like they brought service mm -hmm. and people paid for it. And mm -hmm. people now uh, define quality as Volvo. Like they say, if you are you travel by Volvo bus, mm -hmm. it has become a class. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, what do you think was like? How how was this? If it is possible, or mm -hmm. if 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 you can share your thoughts on these, because same thing, we we think can be possible in the commercial vehicles also, mm -hmm. the trucks, mm -hmm. the dumpers. Mm -hmm. 
where uh, like uh, uh, quality should be important in providing services to the logistics and the manufacturing companies, the mining, oil and gas, huge sector where service uh, will be as important as they are in uh, public transportation. So, uh, would you like to share some thoughts on these? Yeah, yeah since uh, quality is one of our values, uh, it's really good to uh, hear that even uh, outside we are perceived for quality. Uh, I remember we provided one solution for uh, one of our mining customers on, to use our telematics uh, solution and then read all the fault codes so they on real time they can read and see if there's an issue. And then they had uh, Volvo machines and other uh, machines as well in the uh, mining segment. And uh, they told us, oh, your system is not working. We don't seem to see the fault codes. You know, it's not working. <laughs> and then <laughs> we went there and we, we simulated fault codes. So we, uh, we created fault codes. And then we said that, look, it's coming. So we are happy. <laughs> Shouldn't you be happy that fault codes aren't uh, coming? Because they were seeing quite a few fault codes uh, from other systems. So yeah, I, I think it's extremely important, uh, not just as a product, we know we have the quality. But as a service as well, we need to make sure uh, we have the same uh, quality because you could be perceived from every angle, right? So maybe we have the best product, but as a service, if we are not giving in the quality, then that will still affect our uh, perception of the product. So, yeah, uh, and that's why we are putting in so much effort, uh, both uh, technically and also commercially, to make sure that we provide quality service. And I think in Indian market, as you know, as well, and as they uh, highlighted, the most important requirement from everybody was give us a quality product. Right. We need odometer reading which is perfect. We need fuel consumption reading which is perfect. It's data that uh, really matters. Right. So yeah, we are working very hard to make sure that happens as well. Last question, like hmm. what do you think about this platform Telematics India hmm. and uh, what do you think should be done to improve it? Hmm. Um, I, I was uh, uh, really happy that I could get uh, so much information from the end users. From I mean, it's really great that you could bring in all the you know government organizations, uh, transport, real transport management users, to give us what their challenges are, and that gives us a lot of information on what is required. Like uh, even uh, yesterday from BPCL and even the bus association oh, person, he was very clear. Mm -hmm. Give me quality product. I don't want all fancy features. Give me the right data. Give me quality service, and that's all I want. So this this feedback really helps us in creating the right service uh, for our customers. And uh, thank you for uh, you know bringing in everyone in the ecosystem into any this suggestion thing. which would help us improve it. Um, suggestion okay <laughs> it is pretty good so yeah I'll have to really uh, think back but I think uh, yeah uh, maybe if we have prior know-how on uh, on the guests and maybe even connects uh, with okay. the guest uh, beforehand okay. that might help because then we are prepared on you know what is it that we are going to hear and what kind of questions and even connects help because then right. I know I mean there are uh, quite a few people so it will be good for me to know okay this person this person I need to meet and uh, have right, that info. Right. So we will, we will, we will work on that. Sure. Thank